Make sure you stay until the end, we will explain how people usually destroy their engines in two different ways. Hey guys, welcome back to Auto Repair guys. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be super helpful video. And, uh, if you guys have bad ignition co, you got check engine light and code that relates to bad ignition co. You're driving down the road and all of a sudden you got it guys and you wonder, okay, can I drive my car back home? Is it safe? Can I keep driving it until I take it to the mechanic or fix it myself until the parts come? Stay with us, we'll explain that in this video today, how it can affect your car. All that will be covered in this video today and we'll explain two simple ways people always destroy okay their engine when having a bad ignition coil now before we start let me tell you a little bit about us every single car we get at the garage we try to make at least two to three hundred free repair videos absolutely provided free to you guys all we need in return please subscribe to the channel and like the video uh, and if you need to buy a new ignition coil parts tools anything for your car check out the links in the description of the video below that's where you can get two parts from for a really good price clean shipping and you can guys save a ton of money so let's go ahead talk about that and explain how it can affect your car having a bad bad ignition coil guys now many of you have been asking us in the comment section below lately okay to recommend guys to recommend uh, what is a good scanner diagnostic tool and we decided to share that information with you this is a tool that we bought ourselves it wasn't sent to us i will put the link in the description of the video below for current price and features but it works on almost any car you can think of it's amazing too that can pay itself off in one time use and uh, it can access every computer system in your car every module read data see live data and delete codes which is amazing okay that thing is simply amazing for the price now this is a v6 engine even if you have a three four cylinder six or eight cylinder engine or for some of you in europe struggling with those two cylinder engines that i've seen uh, popping here and there uh, and even the three cylinders if you have one of those uh, it will apply as well doesn't matter how many cylinders you have but when you have more cylinders you will be more likely to drive your car with bad ignition coil because it will be less noticeable because let's say you have a v6 ignition coil goes out the car can still produce enough power to move without problems uh, but if you have a three cylinder and one of the coil fails you will be lucky if you're able to keep the car running a two cylinder it will die most likely and four cylinder it will make it not very pleasurable to drive as well but how it can affect it, if the ignition coil is not working, the spark plug is not working. For, for instance, when the piston goes up and compresses the fuel, the gasoline and the air, uh, that's when the spark plug is supposed to ignite when it's compressed. But if it doesn't ignite, that fuel and air, guys, okay, will not be ignite and it will be still fuel vapors. That uh, first, that fuel will wash, uh, will wash the oil of the cylinder wall, which can cause, guys, a uh, worn cylinder wall it can uh, cause uh, piston slab and it will eventually make its way in the oil pan and it will dilute your engine oil with fuel uh, or your engine oil will be diluted with fuel that will make it thin it will not lubricate and you can fail crankshaft bearings connecting rod bearings cylinder heads pistons multiple things so you can destroy your engine another thing that uh, fuel will not be burning so it will end up going to the catalytic converter and the exhaust so it can uh, it will actually ignite there because the catalytic converter and the exhaust is hot and that will cause uh, extreme temperatures in the catalytic converter so you can damage the catalytic converter you can damage oxygen sensors and uh, you can practically destroy your engine that way too i've seen uh, another way people often destroy their car when they try to replace ignition coil on v6 v8 often you will need to remove the upper intake manifold on modern cars and if you drop something in the engine you will go in the valves from there guys okay it will go uh, maybe you can bend the valve if it goes in the cylinder you'll break a piston uh, cylinder head <coughs> engine block and that can destroy your engine as well so that could be catastrophic always replace guys ignition coils on time okay because if you keep driving it for a long time you will have consequences now if you just need to drive it for a few minutes to get to a safe place or something like that, probably it will work out. I've personally driven some longer than that and it was okay. But I've seen some where the cylinder wall was uh, actually damaged on Ford. It was on Ford Edge, one of the 
um, uh, one of the cylinder ignition, one of the ignition core wasn't working on cylinder number four, I believe. And as a result, that fuel washed the cylinder wall. You put quite a bit of wear on the cylinder, and the compression in that cylinder was 50% less than the rest of them. Hopefully, guys, the video will be helpful to any of you needing help with that. Thank you for watching, and see you next time.